We have a lot more opportunities to reduce our um, emissions and for conservation efforts. We've also come a long way. And a great example of that is the District Energy ENU team who has worked to green Harvard's energy supply, both through plant upgrades and fuel switching at the Blackstone Steam Plant, as well as new chilled water plants. We have, uh, or they have reduced our emissions about 25,000 metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent. In translation, about meeting about 25% of our university-wide greenhouse gas reduction goal. Harvard makes most of its own heat. Today, enough steam shoots out of the Blackstone Steam Plant to serve the needs of 11 million square feet of Harvard's campus, or about 160 buildings. The 400 degree steam leaves the facility and spreads out through 10 miles of pipes running along bridges over to the Alston campus and underneath the street to the Cambridge campus, where it is used to heat the buildings and the water. Uh, by having a district energy system, it's allowed us to focus here at our plants. We've made uh, great strides. We've uh, retired our older boilers. We've mixed our fuel source that one was primarily fuel oil to one about 98% natural gas. We've added modern high efficiency boilers. We've added cogeneration. All of that has helped us get us very close along our way to a greenhouse gas goal. Standing in front of a uh, number five steam turbine generator. This is a back pressure turbine. It reduces steam from 400 psi to 125 psi. And we distribute that steam from the campus. And this machine can generate up to five megawatts of electricity during peak time and winter time. The idea is to continually improve and, and be using the type of systems we have to meet the goals of the university. Not only are District Energy and the Blackstone Steam Plant helping to green Harvard's campus, but they are also inspiring students to get involved. Harvard Law School student David Joshnowitz said, After my trip to the Blackstone Steam Plant, I decided that I want to learn more about the energy sector and understand how it works from top to bottom. Hopefully I can connect the inventors and manufacturers of these technologies with users that want cost-effective, environmentally responsible energy production. Places, for instance like Harvard.